Sam Lives. And today, uh, I'm going to be talking about when you're first starting out on the guitar, uh, or you played a little bit, you're just getting back to it, for some reason or other you didn't learn how, and you're coming back to try to do it again. Uh, the one thing that I want to stress that will make all the difference in the world in you being able to learn how to play is where to keep your guitar uh, in order for you to speed up your learning process. Um, this is a very important thing that so many people just on down the guitar uh, just don't do and it's very important and you'll learn how to play much much quicker uh, and again it's where to leave your guitar. Now a lot of people have their guitars in cases or gig bags stuck in a closet or underneath the bed and the old saying out of sight out of mind applies to this in that if your guitar is there in a closet or in a gig bag or under the bed uh, you're not as, as uh, motivated so to speak as to go in there and pull it out practice put it back in put it back in the uh, case or closet underneath the bed wherever it may be so what I suggest is whether you have an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar it really doesn't matter if you spend a lot of time in the living room get you a guitar stand and put that guitar stand in a prominent place in the room to where when you go in there you'll see it and you'll be much more tempted to pick it up and start playing and by doing that way you're going to see yourself playing more often uh, than you normally would if you stick it away like I said in the closet or underneath the bed uh, it's there it's visible uh, if you spend a lot of time, and most of us do, uh, in the bedroom, again, put your guitar stand out. Put your guitar on that stand to where when you're sitting there, uh, whatever you're doing, you'll see the guitar. You say, I'm going to pick my guitar and do a little practice. You'll practice a whole lot more if that guitar is right there staring you in the face, and you'll tend to want to pick it up and play it. And being able to have the access where you can sit and play that guitar every day. I recommend about 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, or twice a day, 10 to 15 minutes if you've got the time. And by doing it every day, your, your fingers and, and your uh, hands and your brain come together in a way that you'll start automatically being able to play the card. Just get to it and play it. And you need that muscle memory, they call it, uh, to really learn how to play and touching that guitar every day is the key not practice 30 minutes today and then don't practice till uh, the end of the w next week uh, that won't work 10 to 15 minutes that's all I'm all I ask is if you would do that you will learn how to play and especially the way I, I teach using uh, my magic four cards uh, if you I'm sure you're here on the YouTube channel if you've never been here before I use four magic cards, magic card positions, and it will get you playing those cards and hundreds of songs in a matter of days. Not not months, not, not weeks, not months. Uh, in days. Uh, if you learn these cards and play them the way I show you, practice those cards, you'll be playing songs. Like I say, sometimes, some, many people play a song the very first day, and that's fantastic. But uh, if you do a search here, if you want to see videos on my Magic Four Cards, just do a search here on my YouTube channel, Magic Four Cards, and you'll see several videos showing uh, the cards and how to use them and how to move from one to the other. But again, uh, having that guitar out and visible, uh, wherever you are in the house on a regular basis, uh, even if you're sitting at the computer or, or watching TV, Put it next to your computer if you go there on a regular basis. Sit in the stand next to the computer. Or if you're watching TV, sit it next to your uh, best sitting chair. Where it's sit sitting right there. And you can just reach over, pick it up, and practice. That's the key. Just a little bit every day. And by using the cards that I, that I show you, Magic Four cards, you'll be playing in no time. Uh, one thing I do want to cover that a lot of beginners have trouble with, you know, they, want, they say, Sam, I can't play the, the cards properly. I can't make them sound clear. So many, so many start with over-pressing the strings to the fretboard, trying to press too hard, 
All you need to do is press with enough pressure to where that string sounds clear. In other words, you start here with a dead sound and just start pressing down. Once it clears up, that's all you need. You don't need to press hard as you can press because that's going to create some uh, finger uh, soreness and, and some uh, tiredness in your fingers and your wrist and your shoulder. Just press to the amount you need to clear the note up. And each time you sit down in the practice, be sure your guitar is in tune. You certainly don't want to practice with an out-of-tune guitar. No one does. It needs to be in tune. And I strongly recommend getting a little electronic tuner like the little snort here. What they do, they clamp on your headstock like, like the one I've got. They feed off the, the string, the sound, the vibration of the string going down from the body to the neck. And they do not pick up on room noise. People talking or something like that, TV on, it won't bother it. And, it's got, and when you hit your string, it's going to show like, if you hit it on the E string, it's a big top string. It's going to show E. If it's to the left, it's going to be flat. You tighten it up to it's in the center. If it's to the right, you loosen it, get it in the center, it's in tune. Then you go to your next one, which will be A. Same thing. You can do that all the way down. Get your tutor. Get your electronic tutor. They're inexpensive uh, and well, well worth the money. There, there is absolutely no question about it. Uh, without, without a doubt. And, of course... The capo, which is something that you know, I, I recommend to all my students, um, what, it, what it's going to do is make the cards much easier to play. You just clamp it on all six strings like this, and it's simple as that. Nothing to it. And what it does, it, it just takes this extension, brings the, the nut, so to speak, right here. Okay, Brings it one, one step down. So what you have now is instead of playing the cards as this being the first fret, okay, this is actually the first fret. First, second, third. And, and it's going to reduce the string height and make it so much easier to play the cards. So electronic tutor, highly recommend. Capo, highly recommend. Uh, and one final thing. Use a dial-on pick. Uh, as you learn how to play, you'll, you'll get used to, uh, you'll learn how to uh, decide which pick you like the best. I like the Jim Dunlop picks. Uh, this is about a 44, I think, uh, 48 millimeter. It's, it's pliable enough to go through the strings without making a lot of uh, heavy noise on the strings. You won't hear the pick noise. Uh, somewhere 44 millimeter, 42 millimeters, good. Um, follow these uh, tips, and you'll be playing guitar a lot more on a regular basis at home, or wherever wherever you are, uh, and, and you'll be making your cards easier uh, without having to put a lot of pressure down. With that capo, very important. Get that capo. It's good. You will succeed learning how to play the guitar if you get the capo. Uh, I've, I've been teaching over 40 years. I've taught thousands of students. And the capo is a great way to get started for anyone wanting to learn how to play the guitar. So hopefully uh, these tips have helped you. Uh, again, subscribe, like, like this video tutorial. Uh, leave your comments down below. Uh, you want to see more of these t uh, guitar lessons like this, uh, just leave your comments. Whatever you want to talk about, if you have trouble with something, learning guitar, uh, leave it. I'll answer the comments below personally. So let's go play some more guitar.